The fourth step of the one-handed backhand progressions is to start adding a loop to the motion we've been working on. Previously, we didn't have a loop. We wanted just to make sure that you could pivot, turn your shoulders, get the racket back, and swing. But most modern one-handed backhands have a little bit of loop in there. So the way to start adding a loop is to get yourself into the position we started in in the second step of the one-handed backhand progressions. You got the racket pointed straight back, both hands on the racket. From here, point the racket up a little bit. Now when you do that, relationship between the tennis racket and your hitting arm shouldn't change. You want to keep that the same. And from here, what's going to happen is the racket will just drop down to the previous position, drop it down, then swing forward, use the same mechanics we've been working on. So let's see exactly what that looks like. I've got the ra racket, and racket just angled up a little bit. Again, relationship between the racket, my arm stays the same. And that structure drops down, and then I swing forward and follow through. And if we watch me shadow this motion a couple times, mechanics aren't any different from the stuff we've been working on in the previous videos. Now I'm going to hit some tennis balls from the top of my loop. And I'm in the racket back position, my body sideways, my racket's back, but I've angled it up a little bit, maybe 45 degrees, something like that. And to hit, I start by simply dropping the racket down, and now if we freeze it, I'm in the racket back position that we had been talking about in the previous videos, and I use the same mechanics to swing and hit the tennis ball. Let's watch it again. It's very simple. The racket just drops down and then I swing forward like we had been doing in the previous steps. From the back perspective, you'll get a better view maybe of how I've angled the tennis racket up. Maybe 45 degrees like I said before. The racket just comes down and then I swing forward and all those mechanics are the same. The only thing we're doing different is dropping the racket down. This transition is what you need to work on and then from here, swing to your contact point, following through, that's all the same.